Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again and welcome to episode number 108 of my player here on Xbox One. As you can see today, we have the Europa League final uh, neutral ground against AC Milan. It's going to be a one-off live comm similarly to or similar to the uh, the game we played against Man City previously in the Tuesday's episode which went down very well indeed if you enjoy this video of course feel free to drop it a like as well and uh, of course we'll end the season at the weekend with the game against Cardiff and then I'm not sure what we're going to do whether we'll head into the third season or whether I'll put together some perhaps highlight reels from each individual season and uh, have some kind of bonus content to end the year on with this my player series but we're coming to the end of this uh, fourth season hopefully we can have a good game here against AC Milan we won the Champions League with Borussia Dortmund two days ago in the Dortmund career mode to end that series. Hopefully we can end this series with uh, a, Euro a European trophy as well. Here we go then. The dream of another European trophy is going to be either made or shattered in the next 15 minutes or so. Oh, we could be off to a great start. Oh, lovely ball over the top. I got the shot away, but good block by the defender. I had three men around me there. I wasn't expecting that ball, to be completely honest. Milan are playing a very strong side here. As you can see, Mario Balotelli up top. El Shraoui out wide. They're obviously, in, on FIFA at least, one of the best teams in, uh, in Italy. Although, in real life, they haven't really put in the performances that you might expect from a team with that sort of heritage over the past couple of years. They'll be hoping that... This upcoming season, despite the loss of Mario Balotelli, that they'll be able to uh, to put in some better performances. Hopefully they won't be able to do that to us today, though. And we'll be able to come away with a victory. We aren't starting the strongest of lineups ourselves, although, of course, there are plenty of first-team names in this side. But this Manchester United team isn't the best, to be completely honest with the squad, at least. But the ball is over. Oh, attempted overhead kick from Shinji Kagawa. Unfortunately, couldn't get on the end of it. He's only little is uh, Shinji, so unfortunately he couldn't get on the end of that, but it's a decent start for us so far, a positive opening 10 minutes, we'll just have to wait and see how the rest of it goes we'll try and find Nani with that ball, can he get this into the box, question of handball, nothing given it looks like they're coming away with it, no, Nick Powell wins it back again, can we get a ball into the box please Nick he has done, it's coming my way, I think I won that header, but it's lobbed only as far as Matia De Cilio, and away come AC Milan a great ball to Nyang does have a good turn of pace, should he need to use it to get around the defenders, has done well, whips it into Mario Balotelli, flicked on, we're getting it clear, but I think there was a foul on Niang down the right hand side as he whipped the ball in indeed, a little bit too physical there from uh, Phil Jones I think it was, I'm not too sure who our number six is, I'm out on my own up top, oh, David De Gea is going to gobble that up, if he can get it up towards me maybe we can catch him on the counter attack, all I've got to do is find a teammate and I've not been able to do that. Balotelli, nice little back heel into Kazuki Honda, he's got Balotelli making runs in front of him, Balo was offside there I think, but he finds Nyang who's onside, good stood up, cross the back post, and Mario has to do better, I think they've got a corner there, that may have been a good block, indeed it was, fantastic defending from Diego Godin, kept us in it in these opening stages, we had the chances to start the game off, but Milan have been coming into the game more and more since then, and Nani, there's no need to hoof that like that. I was just about to call for it down the channel and he's just absolutely whacked it up the field. If they kept it in, they have. The camera angle's not quite kept up. And we're going to pick up a throw in. Nice first touch, Niang. De Jong's got movement in front of him. One of the players is Niang. They seem to be using him a lot going forward here, Milan. Butner's cut that out well. This Milan side is not far off how uh, you know we were playing with them when we were doing the, uh, the AC Milan career mode series. So we should know what to expect from them, but being able to counter that is a completely different task and I was about to call that on the edge of the box because I was free but uh, Phil Jones stood it up into the box before I got the chance to press my A button and the man in the middle was offside. He's brought that down well Nick Powell and he has been able to find me over the top. Oh I need to get there ahead of the goalkeeper and I can't. Asmir Begovic, wow that's pretty weird. We signed Asmir Begovic at AC Milan in the Milan career mode and uh, now on the my player he's at AC Milan as well. That's pretty strange it's not normally that the uh, or it's not normal that the computer actually follows your uh, your own transfer patterns but still Asmir Bigovic is a great keeper so there's no surprise that he's at AC Milan that was a weird pass from Powell back to Jones we've still got the ball though cleverly out wide to Nani I'll call for the cross it's come in I'm at the back post Begovic makes a crucial interception Kagawa's kept it in 
I'm going to try and do them here and then drill the ball across. Oh, that was meant to be a drilled pass. And he kicked it straight at the goalkeeper. Begovic again with a good save. We're still in the attack, though. Here's Phil Jones. He has found me. Oh, good tackle from Nigel de Jong. Obviously one of the best holding midfielders in the game when he was at City. Really, well, in my personal opinion, obviously, I really rate de Jong as a holding midfielder. Not that good going forward, but as a, a holding mid and, you know, a player to break up moves from the opposition, etc. You don't get much better. My first touch lets me down. Nigel de Jong pounces again. Is Ballot onside here? He's not, fortunately. Five minutes to go till half-time, and we're still at 0-0. No headed my way. Can I flick this on? We might be fortunate there with a the slip from Zapata. Oh, good save down low by Begovic. That was the chance. The chance in this first half. Good shot power on it, but Begovic just with a top save. We said earlier he's one of the best goalkeepers that you can buy on career mode. Can we win this header as well? No, but Powell has, but Begovic is down well again. Bosnian goalkeeper is something else. I really rate him in real life as well. Wouldn't mind him at Chelsea, although, of course, we have Courtois now, so it doesn't really matter anymore. But whilst we only had Petr Cech, I was kind of keen on getting Begovic in as a backup keeper. We've got Petr Cech, Thibaut Courtois and Mark Schwarzer, so we don't really need Asmir Begovic anymore. How Stoke have managed to hold on to him for so long, I genuinely have no idea. Arsenal have needed a goalkeeper for years because Chesney is, well, Chesney's OK, but he is quite mistake prone. But Begovic is next level and I'm too busy thinking about go goalkeepers in the Premier League to concentrate on getting the ball under control in the Europa League final. So let's get back to the action, shall we? Uh, in fact, we can't get back to the action because that was the half-time whistle. <laughs> GG, Chez. 0-0 at half-time. A couple of brilliant chances for us, most notably that last one there. But unfortunately, weren't able to take advantage of it. Chances for both sides going in at the break level, although you have to say we're looking favourites to go for the win. It's Nick Powell finds me. This could be the first chance of the second half if Nani's onside, and he is. Can he get the shot away? I'm going to leave him to his own devices. He has eventually got the shot away, but it's blocked. Oh, sometimes you don't know whether to tell the computer to do something or let it figure it out itself. He's Honda down the left-hand side for AC Milan. Using the uh, the support of Didac back to Kazuki Honda. Has a wonderful left foot, so we need to make sure he doesn't get space on that, which he has done, and he's drifted in. A beautiful cross. Fortunately, David De Gea comes out to meet it, but it's only as far as De Jong. They've got men in the box here. They're going to be dangerous. It's a good block by Godin from Balotelli. We need to get this away, please, lads, if you possibly can. Thank you. Right. Danger averted. Can we catch him on the counter-attack? I'm going to try and make a break down here, and Nani is actually going to look for Nick Powell, of all people, but fantastic recovery tackle from Philly Mexes, hooking that away and now Milan are on the attack, he's end to end here at the hour mark changes for both teams, Nick Powell is being replaced by Marwan Fellaini that's a defensive change I think, why are we replacing our cam with a more defensive minded CDM, he's not really a CDM, he's more of an all round midfielder Fellaini but still, it's not really the sort of player you want there in in the cam roll, we'll have to wait and see how that goes and they've taken off Nyang who actually was the main threat for them in the first half so I'm not too bad or too sad to see the back of him but Milan have uh, been the better side in the second half it's been end to end, not really too many chances to uh, to speak of but Milan have really stepped it up second half he says as they kick the ball straight out of play for a throw into us but they have been the more threatening, we definitely had the better of the first half they are having the better of the second so far. We need to uh, improve if we want to get this Europa League victory. But Fellaini's done well there to win the ball. That is a great ping. Oh, and the keeper's come out to meet it. Never mind. Jones to Kagawa. He's got movement on the left-hand side. We had space there for Butner to go into. And Kagawa kind of went the wrong way, if you ask me. Fellaini kind of holding the ball up, which isn't really what I want him to do. I'd much rather have Robin Van Persie sat behind me. To be completely honest, Smalling's found me, although Fellaini is making that run into that channel. Should have enough pace about him to uh, to get there ahead of the defenders and has done. Has he got enough strength? No, Polly tackles him. We are going to pick up a corner. Just over 10 minutes left to go. If we can get a goal here, that will really put us in the driving seat for the game. Oh, I can't quite get there, but he's dropped to Tom Cleverly. Good shot. Fellaini! It's 1-0 to Manchester United. I mocked him when he came onto the field. He's not the right player for that camera, said Chez. Who's the one that scores the goal to give us a 1-0 lead in the Europa League final? Marouane Fellaini in an advanced position. Unlucky for Tom Cleverley to have the shot blocked. Great reactions from Fellaini to pounce on it and drill it low underneath the goalkeeper. Begovic dives over the top of it. It's Manchester United 1, AC Milan 0. 
Nice ball by El Sharabi looking for Balotelli, who's had to peel out wide to find some space. We've really throttled their uh, attacks through the middle in uh, the latter stages of this latter stages of this second half. Since we've taken the lead, especially, we've really firmed up. The manager switched to defensive from balanced, and uh, the uh, the de defence and the holding midfielders have really, uh, you know, knuckled down and blocked out those passing channels, and we seem to be the better for it. Butner looking for Fellaini again. Chance there, no, he's offside. I thought he was going to be able to perhaps flick that on towards the back corner or knock it down for either myself or Nanny, but he's just the wrong side of the defender. Into Fellaini. Play it all the way across if you can, Fellaini. No, he's given it away. We are there to, uh, to pounce on the loose ball. We will try and find Fellaini actually on that far side. And what's he going to do here? He's got the run there of Tom Cleverly. Cleverly not with too much space, but and that actually gets picked off. Ooh, we're going to get the free kick, though. Are we going to be able to take this? We have taken a couple recently for the team. We are going to get to take it. Do I go for goal or do I pass it? I'm going to go for goal. I'm going to be greedy. We're going to get it over the wall. And it's a terrible free kick. Goes two or three yards wide. But, crucially, it wastes some valuable seconds on the clock, which could be more valuable than a second goal right now. Well, not more valuable than a second goal. That was a terrible free kick, wasn't it? We're in first uh, second half stoppage time now. The clock is ticking, Milan are running out of time. Asmir Begovic is going to take this goal kick. Is the referee going to blow his final whistle? He isn't. We're still playing for the win here. Here is Nani, and I'm tempted to keep this in the corner, although Fellaini is very good in the air. I've done well to get away from Elsha. We will look for the Belgian. We will find the Belgian, and he's kicked it off the pitch. Milan breaking out of their own defensive quarters, but they haven't got the time to get themselves back in it. Manchester United, champions of Europe. Not quite the trophy I'm sure the United faithful would want, but it's a European trophy nonetheless. It was good enough for Chelsea and me a couple of years ago in real life. It will do for us now here in My Player. That's a win in the Europa League in the My Player series, a win in the Champions League for the Borussia Dortmund series. We are ending these series as with the best of form really really pleased with that drop the video a like if you enjoyed thank you very much for watching i'll leave you with uh, the commentary of martin tyler and alan smith as always at the end of uh, a european trophy or any trophy final and uh, i will see you next time but they mean so much well there's only so many trophies on offer during the course of the season that's why it does mean so much for any footballer to be in this position to to be on that podium, wonderful stuff. Such a fantastic feeling to win any football match, but to win one when there's major silverware at stake almost defies description. I think they'd be delighted as well, Martin. In fact, they played well over the course of the final, that 90 minutes when they really did have to show what they've got. They responded to the challenge, and that makes it all the more satisfying. It's quite a scene here. And suddenly, having looked tired towards the end of the game, they found remarkable energy. Yeah, they'll keep going all night now, I'm sure of that. The adrenaline will be pumping. Great team, great result.